Hi, I'm Libby with LinkedIn. Let's check out your profile. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty sparse. Well, there are three things that are really important to have in your profile. The first is your past work experience, which you've got right there. That's great. Okay. The next is you want to have a start date for that so that people who are looking at your profile know sort of the span of your work history. And then the next thing is your summary. The beast. Right. What you want to do in the summary is just give a glimpse of your personality. So kind of part bio, part skills, part experience. See, by breaking down the sections like that, I can, I can handle that. I can do right. that. Cool. I got my homework for the night. Hi, I'm Libby with LinkedIn. So let's take a look at your profile. I don't even have a profile picture. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's an easy fix. So tell me about your profile picture. I think it's cute. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. You know, good profile pictures can get you up to 21 times more views. Wow. Important to have a picture. Okay. There, that's me. Ooh, cool shot. <laughs> it's just a selfie. That's a selfie. Yeah. That's amazing. I like this one. Is this your store? It is. That's nice. So you don't need a professional picture. That's you can great. Use something in your phone and apply filters. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Your profile pictured. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, South and Central Eastern Europe. Hello and welcome to this session. If you're watching from Turkey, Greece, Malta, Cyprus, or you're watching from anywhere in the world, I put together a live stream today to share with you some information that's going to help you set up for success as you go into 2023. This is the time. It's time to shine. It's, to, it's time to shine as an individual as you grow the skills that will help you get promoted as you grow the skills that will propel you into leadership roles, as you grow the skills that will help you get that new economic opportunity, whether it's in the company you're working today or in another location. My name is Stuart Samkange, and I welcome you to another LinkedIn live stream. So if you are watching, help me understand that I am streaming live and that you can hear me. Tell me where you're watching from, and better yet, let's do this a little bit different today. Tell me what the temperature is like in your location. Because right now, I'm sitting here in Dublin Island, and it is freezing. It's three degrees. So if you are watching, tell me where you're watching from, the country, and let me know what the temperature is like, if it's anything like what we've got here in Ireland today. So welcome to the live stream. I hope you're all excited about this as we start thinking about our New Year's resolutions. And of course, when it comes to resolutions, my question for you is, have you ever made a resolution that you didn't keep? Probably. And today's live stream session is about helping you get over some of those hurdles that stop you from investing time in yourself so that you can get access to new economic opportunities. Like I said, my call out for those who are watching right now, tell me where you're watching from. And of course, we'll get right into the session itself and start speaking about the things that can help you. If it's your first time watching a LinkedIn live stream with me, my name is Stuart Samkange. At LinkedIn, I have the opportunity to work with colleges, universities, polytechnics, TVTs, and universities, helping them get the right skills into the hands of not only the staff members, get the right skills not only into the hands of our faculty that do our teaching and learning, but also to get these skills into the hands of our students. Because as they graduate, and right now it's graduation time around the world, as they graduate, they need to have the skills that are in demand. 
Because of the world of work we live in today, the reality is that recruiters are searching for you, not just by your degree, but they're searching for core skills that you have that can help them address some of the challenges that they're having. So if you are watching, welcome, you're in the right place. If you know somebody else who should be watching, this is the time to get them onto the stream. At, at, use the at sign, invite them into the stream, whether they're a job seeker, someone looking for promotion, someone looking to grow into leadership or to become an entrepreneur. We will be talking about how you can achieve those career goals. And I've got a tool Boy, have I got a tool for you today. You're going to get something that will help you self-service and understand what skills you require in order to get that new economic opportunities. But before we even get into that, let's say good morning to all the people that are watching. So Emmanuel watching all the way in Nigeria, 30 degrees. Emmanuel, I feel like you're showing off. It's four degrees this morning. And in fact, when I got up, it was just under one. So uh, <laughs> different temperatures coming from around the world. Thank you very much. We've got someone else telling me it's 22 degrees wherever they're watching from. Pana, welcome. So good to have you on the call. Watching all the way in Hungary, Bucharest. Uh, Budapest, sorry, my mistake. And the temperature right now, two degrees. So you and I are feeling the same thing. Let's see who else we've got on the stream. We've got people watching from Harare in Zimbabwe, where today it is 24 degrees. Welcome to the call and welcome, Paddington. I'm looking forward to your questions in terms of how I can help you grow and shape your career for the future. We've got guests watching us. Wesley, welcome. Thank you very much for watching from Saudi Arabia at 31 degrees, sizzling hot temperature. Welcome, Beverly. From Ghana, we've got representation from Thomas. Uh, who's watching right now. So good to have Ghana. You are on our radar. We are looking forward to coming to Ghana soon. And thank you, Thomas, for all the warm introductions you've been giving us. Max watching in Cameroon in Botswana. 30 degrees. Wow. Different temperatures from around the world. And thank you very much, each and every single one of you who's joined the stream. Judith, 22 degrees also coming in from Nairobi, again from Ghana, a very hot day. Well, we got some hot news for you today in terms of how you can grow your career beyond that 29 degrees. Of course, we got, oh, look at that, a good friend, Lizanne, how are you doing? So good to see you. We were in Cape Town together at the LinkedIn Academic and Government Summit, which we held in Cape Town just a week ago. So good to see you and so good to have you on this call and love all the work you're doing to help graduates get access to jobs. Today, we'll be speaking beyond graduates. We'll be speaking beyond students. We'll be talking about you as a professional. If you're gainfully employed, what skills do you need to grow? And if you are a student or you are a graduate, we'll be looking at some of the trending skills that are showing up on LinkedIn that you should possibly invest in. McAllister. Welcome. And you're watching all the way from Malaysia. Folks, we got a global audience watching us today. And this is the time for us to all share insights on how we learn to share what goals we have. And of course, to connect. We do these live streams to give you an opportunity to connect. And we do these live streams to answer questions that you have. Let's finish up with the shout outs. Hello, Wesley. Hello, Dorcas. Hello, Christine. Hello from around the world. Watching all the way in Oman. We've got a global audience today. And I'm super excited about this session. Thank you very much for the interaction you've been giving us on the chat. I won't call out everyone at this particular point. I'm looking forward to answering your questions. So, folks, if you are on the stream, this session is really about you. So let's get right into it and start talking about career goals, because this is what we promised to you uh, as we pre set up this live stream. As we talk about this live stream, I'm encouraging you to put it into action. What am I encouraging you to do? Number one, make time for learning, like you're doing right now on the stream, making time to learn what you need to develop your career. Number two, another favorite hashtag of mine and a life philosophy is always be learning. Every day, 
every single one of us has an opportunity to be a student of life. But every single day, we have an opportunity to learn and to share, to become a teacher. So what are you going to share on this live stream that will help your network, the people you're connected to on LinkedIn? Because really, on this platform of professionals, one way that you can start elevating your brand for new economic opportunities is by enabling, empowering, and educating your network. So whatever you see on today's live stream, I'm encouraging you to use these hashtags and to share with the world at large what you have learned. So let's get on with the session for today. I'm just going to go into full screen here so that hopefully you'll be able to see and follow me as we have this discussion. And as I said, there is a tool I'll be making available at the end of this live stream that will help you get started. The question I'd like to pose right now, front and center, for each and every one of us, and you can put your comments in the chat right now. If you had all the time in the world, what is the one skill, new skill, that you would learn? I want you to be reflective as you think about this in terms of what aspirations you have for your career. What skill would enhance you and give you the opportunity to grow beyond the role that you're currently playing or to grow into the role that you want to go into? So today's focus, as I said, in terms of a live stream, we're going to be focusing on what your career goals are for the next six months. Because earlier on, I asked the question, of course, about have you made a New Year's resolution and not kept it? You probably have. But what we're talking about today is how you can bring some of these actions in terms of resolutions, how you can bring them to life over a short period of just six months. Folks, in terms of what you want to achieve in the next six months and the tool that I'm going to be making available to you, it will focus on a couple of things. What are those things? Well, if we think about what we want to achieve in the next six months, some of us are on this call to know how to get a new job. Some of us are on this call to know how to advance our careers. Some of us are looking to grow into leadership roles and are trying to navigate the, the the skills required in order to be an executive. Some of you are inundated with the work and the world we live in and are possibly just joining this call that in the next six months, I want to cultivate a work-life balance that works for me as a professional. If we think about some of the other objectives that you could have as an individual in terms of the next six months, I'm not looking for a job. I'm not looking for a promotion. What else could I be looking for? I could be looking for getting a new role within my own organization. It could be as a leader today, how do I better support those who work for me? And it could be very well, how do I master this new world of work, which is all about hybrid working? So what is your goal if I just position those eight various options to you. What is your goal over the next six months? I ran a poll on this just last night on LinkedIn, and you'll be surprised at what are some of the results that we are seeing from those who have participated in the poll in terms of what is important to them and what they are aspiring to achieve in the next six months. I'll share the results of the poll as we go through this session, and hopefully you can align and find other people on this platform that you can partner up with. Because one of the things we said we're doing is trying to bring together like-minded professionals that are looking to grow, and maybe on this call, on this live stream right now, there is a study buddy for you. But in order to achieve our goals, we need to start somewhere. Let's start off by defining what a goal is. And a goal fundamentally is us looking at the future. And as we look at the future, we're looking to say, what do we want to achieve in the future? And in order to get there, we need to grow. And in order to grow, we need to learn. And learning doesn't have to be a dull, drab um, uh, 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 time, time use, right? It doesn't have to frustrate us. Learning should be fun. 
And folks, some of the learning I'll be sharing with you today and where you can access them is world-class learning that is Hollywood quality in terms of production so that you can get those skills that you require to achieve some of those goals you're setting up for yourself for the next six months. And why is it important that we learn? It's important that we learn because learning is a lifelong process. As professionals, we need to educate the world of work around what skills we have. We need to educate the world of work around why it's important that we are investing in our own skills. And as we invest in our own skills, how does this show that we're ready for new opportunities? Because if we don't invest in ourselves and if we don't continue to grow, we will definitely lose out on opportunities that are available. Another reason why we're investing on learning is taking that self-reflective look and saying, in my career, where I am today, I've achieved it because of the following skill. Now, you might not have had that skill when you began your career. Now is the time to invest in getting that skill and, of course, having the certification behind it to back it up. The world of work around us is changing. And as you look at those changes that are taking place, what one thing, what one skill would you want to acquire that will set you up for success going forward? If you're still doubting on why to invest on learning, I've got one more other reason to share with you on why you should make time for learning, especially when you're thinking about these career goals. We're not dream casting here. We're forecasting our future. And in forecasting our future, we need to have the building blocks. And learning is the primary building block that will help us get there where we need to go. Learning nourishes the mind. Learning helps you achieve those goals. Learning inspires you in the work and the daily interactions that you have. And learning will definitely set you up to grow your career. Are we still got doubters on the call? Do we? Well, let me know as we go through the chat. And the, let me know what your doubts are and what exactly you're grappling with. Because it's time to learn. It's time to shine. Because here's the thing. Opportunity knocks once, like they say. And if opportunity is knocking once, how ready and prepared are you for those opportunities? whether it be a promotion, whether it to be to lead something, or whether it will be for you to get access to a new job. How ready and prepared are you as an individual? Now, beyond learning, I wanted to share something that I think a lot of us take for granted and a lot of us don't seem to know when it comes to learning. The investments we make in ourselves and when we tell these stories on digital platforms, professional digital platforms like LinkedIn, this increases your opportunity. This increases the opportunity for you to be discovered, for opportunities to find you. Rather than you going out there searching and hunting for jobs, opportunities will find you. And I want to share two things that will help you. Number one, you have a LinkedIn profile. That's why you're on this platform. Thank you and welcome to this platform. Number two, when you invest in getting skills and you add them to your profile and members that are connected with you start endorsing you, LinkedIn research has shown that when you add certificates, for example, LinkedIn learning certificates, when you add LinkedIn learning certificates to your profile, you're increasing your chances of being discovered by 9%. 9% chances of, additional chances of being found, being shortlisted, and being hired by organizations without you having to search for the jobs. So add the skills and the certificates that you're investing in onto your profile. This shows the world of work you're a lifelong learner and that since university or college, you've continued to invest in yourself. What's more, did you know that when you add certificates to your profile, when you're applying for jobs on LinkedIn, you have the opportunity to complete skills assessments, showing that you totally understand, say, for example, if I said I understood Microsoft PowerPoint, I would be then tasked to demonstrate that I understand Microsoft PowerPoint. And when I do that skills assessment, 
it will increase my chances of being hired and shortlisted by an additional 20%. Folks, I'm talking about giving you here a 29% advantage in terms of being discovered and in terms of finding new economic opportunities. That's why it pays for us to continue to invest in skills and growing our professional brands on LinkedIn. In terms of what to learn, yes, Stuart, you've told us learning is important. We should always make time for learning. But what should I learn? Should I focus on hard skills that are related to my job? Or rather, should I focus on essential soft skills? Now, you heard me right there. I didn't say soft skills. I said essential soft skills. Because oftentimes when we say soft skills, we kind of rubbish the skills, right? We kind of think, ah, soft, okay, can do without it. But here's the reality. They are essential because in the world of work, you need to demonstrate that you can collaborate, you can communicate, you can manage time, you can lead others. So as you start thinking about the skills to develop, and I'll show you some of the skills that you should be developing. As you start thinking about it, LinkedIn has gone in and surveyed professionals that are successful. And those people have told us, five out of three, three out of five people have told us that essential soft skills are equally as important as hard skills. So as you start thinking about what skills to acquire, I want to start giving you some guidelines. And as I said, I will be sharing, of course, with you a tool on how you can navigate this journey as an individual. Learning is not just for us as professional. Learning is even impacting those who lead us in our organizations in terms of learning and development. Let's start right there. Those who lead us and coach us and help us shape our career in the world of work, our learning and development managers, are also investing in learning. Here's some of the top courses that our learning and development professionals have been investing in. Here's also the skills learning and development professionals have been adding to their profiles. One thing you will notice there is that not everything is related to learning and development. Some of these skills are related, of course, to other areas of business. All of us need to have a wide taxonomy of skills in order to navigate and work in the world of work we're in today. In terms of the world of work we're in today, I know most of you joined this call to find out about jobs, to look for new opportunities. And when it comes to about finding out about jobs and new economic opportunity, there is no one better out there in the world of work today who can tell you in real time what jobs are trending on LinkedIn, what jobs are in demand. And what we're seeing in terms of jobs in demand from Q1 2022 is that these are the top 10 jobs. So if you're in the job market and you're looking to acquire roles, these are the fastest growing roles in demand on LinkedIn. And we'll be talking about how you can get those skills. And in terms of getting those skills, what can you do in advance to help you prepare? Prepare for the interviews. Prepare to search for those jobs with a, a different lens, a lens that says I'm looking for jobs in specific industries where I see there's gaps, where I see that there's demand. What? Here's some of the skills that, of course, top professionals have said they have gone in and invested in in order to get access to new economic opportunities. I'll be sharing with you, of course, a link that will direct you over to some of the top courses that were consumed by LinkedIn Learning users on our platform. What does this do for you as an individual? This starts guiding you in terms of some of the courses that you could be looking at as an individual based on popularity, based on engagement. What courses have other people been investing in? And as they invest in those courses, how are you investing in yourself? How are you building up the critical skills in order for you to get access to those new opportunities? Folks, we've got an amazing tool that I'll be announcing today shortly, which will help you in terms of building up your careers. As I said, this LinkedIn live stream is really to support you in your career journey. And in supporting you in your career journey, one best way we do it is through these live streams, answering any questions that you might have. 
So as I go through this presentation, as I talk about the skills, as I show you the tool, don't forget on the stream, you have an opportunity to ask questions. This stream is for you. This stream is for job seekers. This stream is for those transitioning. This stream is for those who are looking to grow into leadership roles. Having understood that, let's go back to, of course, our, our prepared uh, material in terms of why else we should invest in learning and more importantly, what should we be learning? In terms of what else we should be learning and how we can start this journey, it starts with a single step. You participating in this session today is one of the first steps that you can take to start growing your career. How, you might be asking yourself, investing in learning, making time for learning. We all spend time on other social media platforms. It's now time for us to invest in ourselves because when we spend time consuming learning content, when we spend time showing the world what skills we have, when we spend time educating ourselves and strengthening ourselves, then we are set up for growth. But it might not be easy, you might say. Stuart, I've tried this before. What are some of the best tactics in terms of ensuring that I stay focused on my goal? Number one, I start off personally. I'm a big consumer of LinkedIn learning courses. I start off by setting up what my why is. I start off by understanding what it is that is driving me to learn. What is driving me to invest in myself? When you understand your why, the rest becomes easier. And in terms of understanding your why, you could look to get accountability support from those around you. So as you go on this journey, like I said, on LinkedIn Learning, you have the opportunity to see who else is studying a particular topic. Well, in your life, those around you, those that you work with, those that you learn with, could you find a study buddy? Could you find someone who can partner up with you to help keep you accountable? And as we talk about people helping to keep us accountable, this is a great time to shout out those who have helped us get to where we are today. So on LinkedIn, are you endorsing other people for skills? Are you giving them recommendations? Are you giving them public shout outs because you didn't get where you are today on your own? You have reached where you are today through the support of those around us. And like I said, each one teach one. Whatever you learn on this live stream, and the tool I'm going to make available to you, I encourage you to share this, of course, with those around you. I had promised you, and I, and I will deliver, as I said, I had promised you to give you access to the top 20 courses that have been curated by LinkedIn in terms of courses that people consumed. Here are the top 20 most popular courses on LinkedIn. Whip out your phone take a picture or scan that QR code and you have immediate access to the courses and content that were trending in 2022 on LinkedIn. Folks, I've spoken a lot. I know. It is now time for you to help me welcome and usher in a tool that's going to help revolutionize your career. In order to do that, I know you're watching. You might be on a desktop computer. You might be on a mobile phone. I am asking you right now to show some LinkedIn love. How do we show LinkedIn love? On this platform, we've got, of course, access to reactions. So right now, as a form of a drum roll, as a form of a drum roll, I need your help to usher in a tool that is going to help transform your world and the world of those that you manage and the world of those that you know and support and those who are seeking jobs and seeking promotion. Help me, please, on LinkedIn, through using the reaction buttons on your screen right now, like, celebrate, uh, help me, please, usher in a brand new tool that's going to help transform your world. Are you ready? Are you giving me the reactions? Come on, folks. Don't leave me hanging now. We're on a live stream. It's interactive right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to a tool that will change your world, which is LinkedIn Learning's 
Pathfinder. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased and honored to make available to you a new piece of technology that will help you curate your own career. I am pleased and excited to give you access to this opportunity. As you can see by my voice, my tone, my pauses, I am thrilled to give you access to this opportunity in this session. But let's, first of all, before we look at what it looks like, what is it about? What is LinkedIn Learning's Pathfinder? So let's put it up on screen and let's all understand what it is. LinkedIn Learning's Pathfinder has been set up to help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve. How so? Well, earlier on, when we started this call, I asked you a couple of questions. I asked you, for example, is your goal in the next six months to get a new job? I asked you, is your goal in the next six months to get a promotion? I asked you, is your goal in the next six months for you to get a new role at your current company, university, or organization? I asked you the question, is your goal to cultivate better work-life balance? Are you feeling inundated? Do you need help with managing your wellness in the next six months? I asked you the question, is your goal, and I see I made a spelling mistake there. I'm human, after all, we can always learn. But I was asking the question, is your goal in the next six months to grow as a leader? How do you get that executive presence? How do you demonstrate to your company? How do you demonstrate to hiring managers and recruiters that you have leadership skills? And last, but not probably not, um, not least in terms of importance, how do we all navigate the world of work we're in? As I asked these questions, I said to you, how am I going to help you be accountable? How are you going to keep to these goals? And as I said, I am pleased and honored to share with you today, of course, the new technology from LinkedIn, which is the LinkedIn Pathfinder, LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder. This will help you curate as an individual courses that will help you ultimately with your career. And as I said, each one, teach one. For each and every one of us, whatever we've learned today, let us share with our network. Let us invest and make time for learning. And of course, let us enable our communities. I'm going to stop, uh, of course, I'm going to stop uh, presenting. And I want us to look at the tool in real time. But as I do that, and as I transition to that, I wanted to know, do you have any questions about the LinkedIn Pathfinder? And if so, how can I help you? answer those questions as I prepare to show you LinkedIn Pathfinder, the tool, and of course, how you will navigate yourself in terms of discovering those new opportunities, discovering what skills you need to address those opportunities. So if you are watching online right now, like I said, this is all about you. And I know we got people watching right now. So folks, what questions do you have? I know we have a global audience today. I think one of the questions that is being shared here by Christine is, of course, please share the QR code again. Definitely, we will share the QR code as we get to the end of it. But right now, Christine, I want to transition over and start sharing for you exactly how you navigate on this LinkedIn Pathfinder and where you can go and find it. So you don't have to come to Stuart. You can self-service. So folks, I'm going to share my screen. If you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen and go into a live demonstration of how you can discover skills that you need in order to get access to new opportunities. I've just zoomed in a little bit there so that you have better clarity. We're nearly at the end of our live stream, folks. So pay attention. Here's how you will navigate and access the LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder that will help you discover the skills that you need to get after your career goals. So here's where it begins. It's a simple URL. And I'm going to share this, of course, in our chat so that you can go in and look at it yourself afterwards. But before we start looking at it as individuals, let's just have a quick look in terms of how you would navigate this platform. 
In terms of navigating this platform, I said I'll share the URL, or you can do a web search for LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder. And when you do that, here's how you begin your journey. First, as you click in, we want to get to know you. So let's curate and tell LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder who I am. So I'm a man, not really good at multitasking, but there you go. Managed to type in my name there. Excellent. So first things first, what should they call you? And of course, I've put in Stuart. Hello, Stuart. Like I said, it's a personalized experience, and that's why we're asking you to put in your name. Next, in terms of your career aspirations, your career goals to achieve in the next six months, like I said, some of the opportunities we have are to get new jobs, are to grow and advance in our current career, are to cultivate a culture of, uh, of work-life balance for ourselves. It is also to grow as a leader. Other opportunities that we have are also to get a promotion are to get access to new roles and, of course, to be a better ally and to navigate this world of hybrid work. So, folks, if you're watching, let's make this interactive. What area would you like me to go and develop myself on? Because right now we're looking at my specific profile and skills that are going to be curated for me as Stuart. So right now, as part of our live demonstration, what skills would you like me to grow? So if you are on the session, I would encourage you right now to become interactive. What skills would you like to see me grow? Is it to become a better ally? Is it to get a better job? Is it, of course, to get a promotion? Is it to grow into leadership roles? If you're watching right now, online audience, please let me know which part you'd like me to demonstrate. I'll take um, your comments that come through the chat and, of course, navigate to that classic example. You will have an opportunity as an individual, of course, afterwards to go in and do this yourself. But for those who are watching right now, we want to have a live demonstration and we want to navigate and ask questions together. What new areas would you like me to focus on? I'm encouraging you folks to let me know. And of course, as you encourage me, as you start telling me some of the opportunities you'd like to see me go after, Thank you very much for caring about my personal growth. You're going to take care of your own personal growth just now. As we talk about my personal growth, like I said, one of the things I did yesterday was to run a poll to get from the world at large what are some of the key areas people would like to invest in. And I want to share some of those poll results as you start telling me what skills you'd like me to invest in. So, folks, if you are watching, I'm going to share my screen once again. And as I share my screen, I'm interested in what skills you'd like me to highlight. And let's see what the world at large said, Stuart, you should focus on. Here we go. It's telling me that right now, from a world of work, people are interested in two things. One, how to get a new job. And two, how to grow as a leader. Well, folks, we got two options available to us. Let us explore those options right away in terms of what it takes for me, first of all, to get a new job. That's one of the first ones that came up. And it goes away and it starts preparing content specific to me as Stuart. And here it is. It is telling me, Stuart, we have a learning path ready for you that will help you navigate the world of work during this time of the great reshuffle. Already, it starts giving me some of the course instructors. And folks, like I said, we provide a world-class experience when it comes to learning. When it comes to learning, we find the best in the industry, the best out there that can teach and enable you for success. And here are some of the folks that produce some of the content that we're about to see. These are world leaders, and you have an opportunity to look up each and every one of these to understand their area of speciality and, of course, what they'll be teaching. And in terms of the things that we will learn, here's some of the skills that we'll be able to add to our profiles and skills that we can follow on LinkedIn that will highlight opportunities related to the things we care about. So if we're looking for work and we're looking for flexible work or we're looking to understand how to negotiate for a better deal or how to search for jobs much more smartly, this is the place to get it. And thank you for those of those who have been coming in with comments. 
Here's how you then take the final step in understanding what skills you require in order to get jobs. Like it said, it's curated courses for me on finding a new job. And as it finds a new job for me, here's the courses it's found. It is found for me if I'm looking for a new job. First of all, how to create and plan my strategy about getting that new job. Number two, how to develop a growth mindset as I search for jobs and how to get some support as I search for jobs and to manage my emotions. Next, it is telling me how to address issues related with careers and ensuring that you start off successfully in the first 90 days. The courses that have been curated for me, all in all, will take me comprehensively about 10 hours to complete. But we're all about bite-sized learning. So the opportunity exists for you to go course by course or to watch when you, when you have time available. Like I said, let's make time for learning. And in making time for learning, we can choose to learn and consume things that will help us. So let's look at some of these courses. Some of the courses that we're finding here is, of course, how to develop a strategy on finding a job, how to develop the right mindset, how to switch your career, how to get unstuck if you're planning to move your career forward. So yes, we talked about finding a new job, but it could be a new job within your own companies. How do you get promoted? Of course, for some of us, we're taking time off during the pandemic. You're just returning to work. So how do you return to work? And how do you explain that gap in your resume? How do you tell recruiters that you're taking care of a loved one as as, as, as you took a break from work and now you're back and you're available? How do you prepare to negotiate? How do you prepare to, to land the dream job that you desire? As you can see, some of these courses, some of them are 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Some of them are as long as three hours. Some of them, like finding a job in a hidden market, Sorry, finding a job in a hidden job market. Really good one, recommended. As you can see, I completed that course. As you do those courses, they will help you shape your strategy for hunting for a job. For example, this one on how to find a job in a hidden market. I said I've already completed it. I'm just going to click in, not to go through the course with you online right now, but I want to show you one or two things that will help you in terms of the content. Like I said, world-class content great video, videos that you can listen to with subtitles for those who are hearing impaired. And like I said, find other learners on the platform that have consumed this uh, before or those who are currently doing this course or those who have bookmarked this course and start interacting with them. This course, for example, is by Sarah Johnson. You get to look at her LinkedIn profile. You also get the opportunity to join groups on LinkedIn with other job seekers. So you can start sharing strategies of things that are helping you become successful. You also get exercise files that will help you find jobs. In this particular case, finding jobs in a hidden job market. These will help you bring your learning to life immediately. And what's more, when you finish the course, you get access to a LinkedIn learning certificate. And here's what I encourage you to do. Like I said, if you add a certificate onto your profile, you increase your chances of being hired by a whopping 9%. When you add a certificate to your profile, you increase your chances by 9% of being hired or shortlisted. When you do the skills assessment, you increase your chances by a further 20%. That's 29% advantage in terms of getting access to new economic opportunities. And all you need to do is do the courses, add the certificates and do the skills assessments, and then you're set up for success. Of course, I was navigating through the LinkedIn learning platform in terms of some of the content you will have available to you. Here's an example of courses that would be available to you, like we said, if you're looking to find a new job. So get access to the LinkedIn learning pathfinder, identify what your goals and aspirations are, and as we said, in terms of finding the LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder, so I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to say LinkedIn Learning, and I'm going to say Pathfinder. Search for it before. It finds it on the web, freely available to all of us. So if you know a job seeker or you're providing coaching and mentorship to a group of students or someone else transitioning in a job, here's how you find it. Type in the words LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder. When you're there, Click to get started. And as we found 
it is simple. Once you put in your name, and I just want to go through one more narrative, which is, of course, how you grow into leadership roles, which is your second most desired topic of interest is, of course, in the next six months, if I want to grow as a leader, I click on the leadership, the technology goes back into the back end, it starts curating a learning path specific to me, I have the opportunity to see those who are providing this learning, and I have the opportunity to understand the skills that I'm acquiring, follow them on LinkedIn so that I can find other like-minded people that are in this space of leadership. And of course, when it comes to the courses themselves, in terms of my learning path to become a leader, it takes me directly into LinkedIn Learning, which highlights for me that I only need to invest. I only need to invest. Hear me right here, folks. I only need to invest in two hours. In fact, it's two hours 55. Let's change that. Three hours. I only need to invest in three hours in order for me to start growing the skills that will help my HR department promote me into leadership or to be identified for opportunities outside of my organization today. So let's get back into the presentation itself. And we're wrapping up, as I said, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask those questions because we're about to close out this live stream. In terms of becoming a leader, like I said, it's just three hours and five courses that will help you define your leadership strategy, define what kind of uh, culture, purpose, values, and vision that you can set up for yourself in order of leading and motivating your teams. And of course, if you are already a leader, how to become a better leader by fortifying yourself with these skills. Some of these courses, as you can see, are very short in terms of establishing your and building your credibility in this digital era. So yes, you are a leader, but how do you do that in this digital area? How do you amplify your voice? How do you engage not only your staff members, but your customers, your stakeholders, and your partners and fellow leaders? How do you develop that leadership and executive mindset? What are some of the fundamentals you need to understand as a leader in terms of project management? And of course, as a leader, we know you're managing people. And when you're managing people, oftentimes people say, people don't leave companies, people leave leaders. So if we are bad leaders, they will leave our organization. So if we want to be good leaders, we're that leader that ensures that people stay. Stay because they are getting the values, the benefit, the development that your company offers, not staying because we're holding them hostage. So how do you become a manager or a leader where people do not leave? And lastly, how do you get some creative skills in terms of the world of work, which is hybrid today, to still manage a workforce that is not sitting in front of you, but a workforce that is globally dispersed? So, folks, that is the end of this live stream where we were talking, of course, about LinkedIn's Learning Pathfinder that will help you get the skills that you require in order to achieve the goals that you have for the next six months. Folks, this is a simple tool. This is a tool that's been made available specifically for you as an individual. So take the time today as a call out after this session to go on to the Pathfinder, align on what are your goals for the next six months and start investing in learning. Make time for learning. And as you learn, add those certificates onto your profile. Add those onto your, onto your digital profile so that those you work with, those who can hire you, those who can inspire you, those who can um, buy services and products and solutions from you, know that you've invested in your own personal journey of learning and are the right person to contact, engage, hire, or promote in our organization. So folks, I hope this helps set you up for success. Like I said, it's time to shine. Let's not wait until January 1 to start making our New Year's resolutions. Let's rather get ahead. Let's start now and start learning in small bite-sized chunks as work tapers down, as the pressures come down because we're at year end. Let's make time for learning and let's add those skills onto our profiles so that as we get into 2023, we're all set up for new economic opportunities. 
We want you to become more productive. We want you to be gainfully employed. We want you to become more successful. So I ask you again, what are the things you want to achieve in the next six months? You now have the tools in your hands. You now know where to go and, and uh, self-curate and identify what skills you need in order to grow. As I end of this live stream, folks, I just want to give out one last chance for those who are watching to ask any questions that you might have from our live stream. Of course, our live stream will continue to be available. You can ask questions afterwards. Start interacting with those that are currently on the platform, those that have participated in this section in this session that we have held. And of course, if you have found value, I appreciate some feedback, of course, in terms of what you have gained from this live stream. As we end out this live stream, because I guess there are no questions right now, but we will take another check to see if there are questions. As we end off this live, this live stream, show some LinkedIn love if you have found this content to be something you like, something you celebrate, something you love, something that has been insightful. Let us click on those reaction buttons. And of course, if you're curious to find more, well, show me through your reaction buttons. Of course, on LinkedIn live streams, this is a opportunity for us to all engage, for all of us to connect, for all of us to help each other grow into new economic opportunities. I thank you very much today for participating. I thank you very much for the questions that you asked. And I encourage you, as we end of this live stream session, I encourage you to share what you've learned today with someone you know. Around us, as a society, we have people we work with that didn't participate in this call. Around us, as a society, we know people who are looking for jobs. Around us, as a society, we know people that are looking for promotion. So how are you helping your network? Well, to help your network, I encourage you to share this live stream. I encourage you to share the LinkedIn Learning Pathfinder with someone you know. Thank you very much, folks. It's time to shine. It's time to shine as the individual you are. It's time to shine as the leader that you are. It's time to shine as a learning and development manager or the teaching and learning uh, leader in your university or in your organization by helping others take learning into their hands. Let's put learning into the hands of those around us and let's help them grow. Thank you very much for watching the live stream. We will be back again when we've got content that helps you grow your career. With that, I'd like to end off this live stream with a short video that talks, of course, about how to get jobs and, of course, what LinkedIn is doing to help you get access to those jobs. Thank you and have a good day. Goodbye. The practice of job searching hasn't changed much. Networking, referrals, demonstrating skills, and so forth. But the way we do it has. Today, it can all happen in one place, and that's LinkedIn. It connects the world's professionals and creates economic opportunity for every member of the global workforce. And LinkedIn Learning combines our high-quality, expert-led learning content with this LinkedIn data to make those professionals more successful. I've been working in higher education for over 10 years. And I've never seen the tool that provides what LinkedIn Learning can. It reveals in-demand skills using data, AI, and machine learning. We're able to deliver relevant, customized micro-learning content that prepares learners for the future. It's a strategic complement to an institution's curricula. LinkedIn becomes a hub for students, alumni, faculty, and staff. They can learn, connect, engage, and strengthen their professional brand. All of us were students once too, which is why we're so passionate about student success. We want to see them advancing their skills and building their professional brand. Employers are going online to find new talent. Students need to create an online presence early to give them a competitive advantage. So let's take a look and see how this works. First, a student creates a profile. It can be a great place to interact with peers and professors. Throughout her education, LinkedIn Learning supplements classroom learning, and online course recommendations help her continuously develop micro skills on her own. 
She posts course completions and class projects to her LinkedIn profile. It becomes an online portfolio to showcase her academic career. Her network grows as she interacts with the broader community, engages with thought leaders, and comments on posts and articles. As graduation approaches and she finds a field of interest, alumni connections help her with internship and job opportunities in that field. The learning, insights, and connections empower her to enter the workforce. As your students and staff interact with the LinkedIn ecosystem, we provide student outcome data that perfectly complements your institution's own internal data. It's a mutually beneficial opportunity. Looking at both data sets together, we're able to close skills gaps, enhance outcomes, and foster lifelong learning. Ultimately, differentiating your institution for current and future students. Together, we're able to invest in the growth and development of individuals to empower students to build their professional brand and prepare them for the careers of tomorrow. To help faculty, staff, and alumni elevate their careers. We're here to partner with you. Let's guide lifelong learners to be more productive and successful in the global workforce. Thank you.